Now you made $4,000, you pay the bank back, they're little too, because the bank is your friend. You can talk about your friends all you want to, but guess what? That time I needed that $150,000 and my bestie couldn't lend it to me, he said, I'm your best friend. I said, nah, bro, you're not my best friend. He said, man, I've been knowing you since kid. What you trying to say? I said, bro, you remember I need that $150,000 so I could finish that real estate deal and you couldn't give it to me? Bro, I wasn't liquid. I said, yeah, but I got that from my best friend. He said, well, who is this cat that you met after me? Because I didn't known you since you was a kid. I said, look, it wasn't out there for you. Remember we was in a club and was a, remember you needed that 50? Yeah, but I went to my best friend. He says, who's your best friend? I said, the bank. <laughs> they gave me the 150, bro. You my second best friend. He said, ah, okay, uh, well, the bank ain't a person. So that's, you know, that's cool. I said, yeah, okay, that's fine. Then you're my best friend. But the bank is my bestie, okay? So one on every corner. If you know what they want, it is a lending institution. 85% line up, put their money in, go home and get a plastic car and get nothing for it. And then I walk in on Wednesday and say, I would like to have some of that money that those those people on Friday put in. And say, oh, sure. And I speak Latin. Oh, come have a seat, Mr. Whitehead. What you got here? I got Willie, I got Leroy, and I got Harry. I need to fund in. The business is just an excuse to get the money. The business is just an excuse to get the money. And then when I borrow the money they put in, check this out. Then they come and I build a big business with their money and then they come and work for me and I pay them the same damn money that they put in that I took out their own money. Let's get a grip, okay? All right.